Hi there, my name is Fletcher Morgan and I'm the CEO of TDG Gold Corp. This is TDG's first video, so I'd like to take the opportunity to introduce you to our improved website to show you where to find our corporate deck, and which together with our website are key sources of information that we regularly update about who we are, where we're working and what we're doing. I'm going to focus on a few key slides in our current slide deck which explain why it's going to be worth following our story over the coming months, including our forthcoming listing event on the TSX Venture Exchange here in Canada. And finally, I'm going to highlight a couple of key members of our technical team and board of directors, and then provide you a quick snapshot of our corporate strategy for 2021. So here's our improved website. You can reach it by typing tdggold.com into your web browser. Before I go through the sections, I'd just like to quickly say that um, TDG is privileged to have the opportunity to undertake mineral, mineral exploration in the traditional territories of the Toltan, Kodacha, Sekedene, and Takla First Nations. Um, we maintain regular, early, and active and respectful dialogue with representatives of each community through our First Nations Liaison Officer, Christy Smith. Her coordinates there are at the bottom there. And we look forward to working with those First Nation groups and communities over the coming months and years. Our About TDG section provides an overview of our key people and our corporate governance materials. Our project section talks about our five projects, all of which are located in the Tutagon district of Northwestern BC. And we'll be updating those sections in due course as new information becomes available. I've mentioned our community section and I'll come back to our investor section in a minute. But our news section it provides all of our news releases in chronological order. Now, typically available to read on the screen uh, through your web browser or your smartphone device. Uh, we also provide links where available to PDF copies if that's your preference. And then our contact section where you can reach us, our Phone number and email address are also at the top here, but uh, I want to highlight to you the subscription form, which if you complete and sign up, adds you to our email list, which means that you will be amongst the very first to receive information as we make it available. And then above that, you can see our social media feeds, our LinkedIn page, our Twitter feed, our Facebook page, and our Instagram feed and now also our YouTube video channel where our videos will be uploaded and published. So you can pick which way you wish to keep in touch with us, whether it be through our website or through any, any one of these channels. Okay, so going into our investor section, we'll be adding more information in due course, but there's a brief overview about our company, but also here, the link to our latest corporate slide deck. And if you click on that link, uh, the slide deck will open and I will now step you through a couple of key slides. So here's the current version of our corporate slide deck, which I've just downloaded from our website and opened in a PDF reader. We published this deck in early October and we expect to update it again shortly. I'm going to move now quickly to slide five and mention briefly some of our investment highlights. Firstly, that we have binding agreements in place to acquire over 23,000 hectares of brownfield and greenfield exploration ground in the Tudogon district of Northwestern BC. Now the brownfield component covers the former producing high grade gold and silver Baker and Shasta mines, which are approximately five kilometers apart. And both are road accessible and each operated intermittently between 1981 and 2012. In fact, ore from both mines was processed at the Baker Mill, which is located just off this image here. Both mines were a combination of open pit operations as well as underground. And in this image, you can see a section of the Baker open cast workings. And given how long it's been since these mines were first discovered, it isn't therefore surprising that there's been a lot of historic drilling. And in fact, we have information from over 50,000 meters of historic drilling that has taken place at Baker Shasta. And our technical team has been focused on recompiling that information for the best part of the last three to four months. 
and we fully expect to begin releasing that information over the coming weeks as the recompilation work continues. Related to that, I'd like to draw you to your attention to where this slide indicates over 10 mineralized zones. In fact, we're now aware of over um, 15 zones of which there are 12 zones on Shasta alone, and which therefore gives us plenty of uh, zones with targets to work up for our 2021 exploration programs. And finally, I'd like to draw your attention to our pro forma market capitalization of just 17.2 million Canadian dollars, and which is, in our opinion, a very modest starting point considering the ground that we will have assembled. And moving on from our investment highlight slide, I'd like to quickly introduce three key individuals from our team. Firstly, Duncan McBain, our VP Exploration, who's over 30 years experience managing projects at all stages. Um, he uh, was most recently a senior project manager for Yamana Gold and um, is going to be instrumental in driving our projects forward in 2021. Also, Andrew French, who's our chairperson and a director, is a very experienced geologist and has been a senior mining fund analyst on the buy side for over two decades and is very well known within the institutional um, fund management side. And Terry Harbert, who's current CEO and director of Talisker Resources, um, we're acquiring the Baker Shasta properties from Talisker and so Terry's presence on our board represents more than just the fact that we're acquiring those assets it's a bridge to Talisker uh, we consider them as uh, strategic partners and we're very much uh, looking forward to working with Terry and his team as we advance our properties. Slide seven of our deck currently um, shows our corporate strategy for 2021 it's it's clearly a high level snapshot but the idea is that um, we're going to be hopefully achieving our listening event within the coming weeks uh, we'll continue then to work through the winter and into the spring on target definition with the aim of being out in the early summer to not only undertake mine site drilling at Shasta and uh, hopefully Baker but then also blue sky drilling on our other properties and finally, because uh, we do receive questions about how we're going about our listing, um, what we've done is we are uh, achieving our listing through a reverse takeover of what's called a capital pool company, uh, the, the name of which is Kismet. Um, now, this is a designated program by the TSX Venture, uh, whereby um, they are, Kismet is already listed, we reverse into that and therefore achieve our listing through that route. Um, on a pro forma basis, we're heading towards 57.1 million shares at listing, of which the existing TD shareholders will control around 25 million. Um, our concurrent financing, uh, where we're raising just over $4 million, which is fully subscribed, uh, will generate another 11 million shares and then Talisker resources uh, are, would on that basis receive just over 18.9 million shares, giving them around 33% ownership. And out of the gate, we're going to be uh, a company with uh, around 17.1, $17.2 million market cap, which is in our opinion, very modest, um, but including $5 million of cash, a mill that has a value and some equipment that's still on site. Uh, from when the old mining operations uh, were, were operating. And so that's a quick run through of uh, where we are to date. And as I've mentioned, we're looking forward to publishing results from our recompilation work, but also uh, updating our slide deck in the very near future. Um, if you've any questions, please don't hesitate to get in touch with us and please do subscribe for our email uh, to our email list and also take advantage of the social media channels that um, we're making available to maintain contact with us and follow us and uh, in your preferred way. Thank you very much.